So, uh, not too much news since the last update, but we have a surface to print on. Um, there it is. Uh, it's quite simple. It's uh, four corner screws, uh, and they all go down to uh, one of these uh, nuts that I can adjust the height with. There's some kind of hard to see, but there's a spring uh, underneath there, so uh, this will bounce back up and down. Uh, to make the holes, I just made a frame uh, that is just the same as, uh, as the bed is now. And here I have a prompt face with a tiny test file loaded, so let's say print. Okay, it will take a little while until we reach the right temperature. In the meantime, we can just mess things up a bit, I guess. Um, so I've adjusted the power to the extruder. Uh, it's now strong enough to pull the filament. Um, other things. Uh, the cabling is still a mess. Uh, I've, I've done this part from the extruder and up down there until there was fine. Um, but I haven't finished everything else up. Uh, I simplified the carriage quite a bit. I can't really show that now that I've uh, put on uh, the print surface. Um, as you can see, the print surface is covered with uh, blue painter's tape. Uh, I'm not. No, no, it's foaming. Let's see if it prints. It doesn't, of course. It, uh, let's see. Wee! It is printing. My own one. Huh. That's outline. Everything lays down nicely, actually. Huh. And there's still the infill. Very cool. Quite happy. Of course, I had a had an issue where I had uh, wired the C motors the wrong way, so it started off going straight up and didn't really do much. Hmm. That is, it started printing up, up in the air. This is nice. Cool. Too bad I can't get the camera to properly focus. Let's see, reinforce it. It's pretty cool. I'll stop recording here and uh, attach back the rest of it when uh, the model approach is finished. So here's an interesting one. Um, I had completely forgotten about one mm. tiny, tiny detail, and that is that PLA, which I'm printing with now, requires to be cooled, uh, and I didn't have a fan uh, because that wasn't. Well, I haven't made it yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, and as I uh, and grabbed hold of the only fan that I realized that I could just grab hold of and put up quickly. This huge thing that I use, usually use to warm up the uh, workshop with. Uh, connecting that did uh, cancel the print, so that's how far the first print got. Anyway, so I'm giving it another shot. Uh, this time, uh, also with a fan that is working and blowing on the object, so let's see how this goes. Okay, so he's approaching the end. As you can see, this is uh, a little test robot that comes with the uh, camera. Quite good. But uh, there are some issues that I need to address. Quite see it from this. Yeah, 
until it's finished. But, so, as you can see here, I'm using um, a special pulley that I was uh, given by the make block team uh, because I requested a pulley with more teeth. Uh, and here I'm using the standard 18 tooth one. Oh, let's see. Finishing up the antennas. Turn off the fan. Okay. So, cool. Ah. Oh. My fault. I hit my lamp, so I couldn't really touch it. Now, let's see if we can get this thing focused. Come on. Focus, focus, focus. So, as you can see, uh, it's clearly uh, a robot, uh, but it's nowhere near the finish that it should have. So, I'll need to work on tweaking it, but it's pretty cool. I like it. This is not bad at all.